Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you three stabilization methods you can use and reveal which one works best. I'll be testing each stabilization method without fixing or correcting the track point. This is a one-shot test, so let's see which method passes both the stabilization and lock-on challenge. Let's begin. I'll be stabilizing and locking onto the car's wheel, so let's begin with the basic stabilize motion method. First I'll make the track point slightly larger and place it right at the center of the wheel. To improve the analysis, I'll click on Options, select RGB, check Adapt feature on every frame and then hit OK. Now we can click the Analyze Forward button and wait for it to finish. I won't skip the analysis process so you can see exactly how each method works. The analysis went very smoothly and the tracker stayed perfectly in place, it's really impressive. Let's click Apply now and then hit OK. Now let's close the tracking window and check the stabilization. But first I'll fix the black edges by scaling the video. I'll also enable the proportional grid to center the clip and make sure it's properly locked on. Stabilize Motion did a great job, the results are amazing and 100% accurate. I'll fix the one remaining black edge by scaling the video a bit more, then scroll through the footage to check if the wheel stays centered until the end. As you can see the wheel stays perfectly centered without any movement. Stabilize Motion definitely passed the test. Now let's move on to the second method using the Mocha AE plugin. It's less popular, but many people still use it. In Mocha, I'll select the rectangle tool and mask the center of the wheel. Then I'll enable perspective and hit the track forward button. I won't skip the tracking process so you can see how smooth or bad it is. Tracking is done, so now let's click save and close Mocha. Next expand the tracking data and click create track data. Once the tracking data is applied to the clip, check the invert box, change the export option to transform, select the layer you're stabilizing for layer export, and then hit apply export. Now press S on your keyboard and click the stopwatch icon next to scale to remove the keyframes. Then press R and do the same for rotation by clicking its stopwatch icon to remove those keyframes as well. Now let's check the stabilization. It's okay, but definitely not the best. You might notice some jumpy movements on the screen, and honestly, I'm not happy with the results. Sure we could fix it with warp stabilizer or try tracking again, but this test is a one-shot trial, and all stabilization methods should pass on the first try. Unfortunately Mocha didn't pass. Now let's check if it's locked on the wheel, but first I'll pre-compose the layer. Otherwise I won't be able to scale and position it properly because the tracking data has been applied and the position is keyframed. Now I'll fix the black edges, enable the proportional grid, and check if the wheel is properly locked. Unfortunately Mocha failed here as well, but I want to emphasize that this doesn't mean Mocha is bad at tracking and stabilizing, you can definitely achieve great results with it, just not always on the first try. Now let's jump to the final method, the one every pro editor uses for smooth stabilization. But is it really that good? Let's find out. First I will click track camera and wait for the analysis to finish. Once it's done, I will create a new solid and camera at the center of the wheel. Then I'll slightly adjust the solid. Then I will scale it down to 4%, and position it precisely in the center of the wheel. Now let's toggle of the clip so we can see only the solid on our screens and then pre-compose all these layers. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected, then hit OK. Now click stabilize motion. I'll make the track point slightly larger and drag it onto the small solid. Then click Options, select RGB, check Adapt feature on every frame, and hit OK. Now let's click the Analyze Forward button and wait for the tracking to finish. The tracking wasn't very smooth, the track point slightly drifted from its spot, but since we're doing a one-shot test, let's go ahead and apply it to the clip anyway. Double-click on the clip to go inside the pre-composition and toggle on the clip and toggle off the track solid layer. We can now close the pre-compose tab from here and check the result. But first I will scale the video to fix the black edges. Now I'll enable the proportional grid, center the clip, and check the stabilization to see if the video is properly locked on. The stabilization is buttery smooth, it looks amazing. Now let's see if the wheel is locked. As you can see, it's not locked on with 100% accuracy, the basic stabilize motion method was actually much smoother. Let's quickly do a side-by-side -side comparison.
it's not a big issue, since most viewers won't notice it. Track camera is still a powerful tool, especially when it comes to complex tracking and stabilization tasks. If you want to see more stabilization tests, let me know in the comments. What you saw today was just the basics, the easiest type of stabilization with a simple clip. In this video, the winner is basic stabilize motion, since it passed both the stabilization and lock-on tests. And if you found this video interesting, get ready, I'll be dropping a challenging stabilization tutorial soon that might completely change your mind about basic stabilize motion.